Good morning, good morning. Well, here we are again. Uh, first trip like this, uh, back with the lovely gimbal in my hand. So we're off to the Sloan Square job today for an important meeting. Um, I had a call from the client yesterday, or rather the client's neighbour, and she wants to come in and have a look. She was a little bit worried about the drilling and the banging uh, because we are doing some structural work. We're not actually at the structural work yet, so she was wrong about that, uh, but she'd like to come in and take a look anyway. Uh, this is something that you might have to do or you might get asked in the course of your job. Neighbours kind of want to have a look and see what's going on. Uh, the only thing to really remember here is that you should ask the permission of the owner, i.e. your client. That's what I've done. Everybody's happy, everyone's coming in, and we're off to the house to have a look around. Good morning, good morning. Here we are at the house. So the meeting is due to start in about an hour's time. I've come in early uh, to see what's been going on. There's um, quite a lot going on actually. Uh, we're now in the kitchen, or what remains of the kitchen. Uh, there's not very much, as you can kind of see. Uh, we do have everything pretty much dug out. Um, it's quite messy, as you would probably imagine, in somewhere like this, but you can actually see exactly how far down uh, things have been drilled and you can actually see, you can see all the rubble in the background there. That is just one of the things, uh, they take this out by hand and you can do it either two ways. You can either get a skip or you can just basically do a weight and load. So the van rocks up, everything gets carried out and off it goes. Um, if you don't have any space at the, at the front of a house, this is the best way to go. What you can see is the pipes. Now, of course, this whole structure, um, this little wall here, or rather this pillar, is actually coming out. Um, and quite a few other things are coming out as well, um, such as this. Now, this is obviously is plywood that you can see here. And through, they've just punted through to see what's um, in there. And that's actually just a, a pipe. It's a soil pipe. It's going directly down, um, as you can see here, from the floor and underground, and probably goes right out. Um, but there is another one which is running sort of along here. Uh, which you may just be able to see. And that's this here. So this is another pipe which is running out there. So this means that we just have to uh, be quite careful and see where everything is going once we do all the plumbing, the mechanical, the electrical, um, and all the other different things. You just have to watch out for these things in the fabric of a house. Um, but it's certainly looking good so far. They've done a lot of work. It's tough work, especially in this sort of uh, 30 degree heat that we have here at the moment. Um, I think I'm going to buy them some ice creams. Mm. Let's see what else is going on above here. So I'm going to step up past the rubble. Uh, this is another wall behind us which is, which is all going, so that will go. Uh, the joists you can see here above still looking a mess. Uh, we're still sort of clearing out a lot of the stuff. Um, undo the fabric of the house and these are the pavement lights which are going to be replaced. You can see the sort of the damp work here uh, which has been um, revealed shall we say underneath the mosaic tiles um, and back in here in this dark room there's not much light here as you can probably see so we have a couple of windows this one here which we knew of before and a hidden window which is this one over here um, so we're both of these are going to be um, replaced which is just as well it's quite a, a warren quite a maze we have some stairs which i'll show you just here these are actually going so um, they're very mucky at the moment but these are the ones that are actually going because there will be a brand new staircase more towards the front of the house where we've just been. Meanwhile on the ground floor um, you might be able to hear it's, um, it's, it's, it's actually really quite noisy here. Um, it's reasonably hazardous as well so I won't stay here for very long. You can see the sort of the joists which are above us and um, we've, we've got lots of debris coming down from here and it's sort of like smattering down and sort of ending up 
um, somewhere on the ground over over here. Um, all of that will need to be uh, picked up and um, and put away somewhere safely at the end of the day. Uh, the rest of the room is looking quite um, interesting, quite bare at the moment. There's a few lots of tools, etc., etc., happening here, but otherwise. Um, it's looking exactly how it should do, uh, full of builders' materials and very messy indeed. Moving into what will be the dining room, so this you'll see actually in one of the Cornell videos which I've got coming up when we first take a walk around. This whole wall behind, this is all, um, all of this is coming down. Um, so this will be, there's going to be a new wall built and it's basically coming up to here. Um, so the dining room which we're now in at the moment is actually going to be much smaller, which is fine for a dining room because it's actually abnormally large as it is at the moment. We'll still have these lovely uh, windows at the back here, so um, it'll be a lovely light and bright area, but it's certainly going to look very different from how it does now. So to attempt to make our way up the stairs and see what's going on, you can see the plaster, we've had to take off the um, all of the wallpaper and all the lining paper. This is actually a costly job as well as time consuming. They've got rid of all of that. Let's go and see what's happening on the first floor. So this is the chimney breast or what's left of it. So the uh, chimney breast above have been removed. You can see it moves all the way down and we're removing this by hand, just hammer and chisel and that's all that's left sitting there on the hearth. So here we are at the top of the house um, and this is a really interesting thing to look at. So if you've never seen a chimney breast uh, being demolished or what it looks like without a chimney breast, now is your chance. So I'm just going to spin round. So you can kind of see at the top here. So you've got obviously the rafters to right at the back and then obviously this is where the chimney breast was. You can see where the plaster um, was just over there. That's where the sort of the end of the wall was. Um, so if you sort of if we sort of pan down, you can see the the sheer drop that is down the bottom there. So this is why they work pretty much from the top down, obviously because they can just sort of get rid of the load and then quickly take something um, away as they go down as they go further down the house. Naturally, the bricks are very old. We're actually keeping as many as, as we can because we might we might need um, some of them at some point. I doubt it very much, they said they're very old. So we've sort of got a bit of a, a stash going here on the landing, um, just sort of a piling up, ready for everything to sort of be taken downstairs. And obviously, uh, you may remember the uh, insulation from the loft. There's still a little bit left of it um, there, but by and large, that's a bit of a tank thing happening over there and we're just looking at the boards, we've literally just taken everything, taken everything apart. Um, I was actually speaking to um, the neighbour who's actually coming to, to visit today and she actually thinks that the house wasn't really well built when it was, well, when it was built, um, so she's not surprised that things are sort of um, falling apart quite easily in some ways and I'm glad uh, for one that actually we're renewing so many of these items. Um, let's go and have a look in the other, in the other bedroom, there's the bathroom which is also um, now lost, lost its ceiling, it's gone, missing, missing in action, past the bricks and then in this one here, this is a partial, this is partially gone, so you can kind of see here, so you can see obviously the brickwork still at the bottom here, um, which they're hammering away at at the moment. All oh, very exciting. Now this is the steel, so these are the steel beams that have gone up here. So you can see uh, the deep red and you can see there, those are the new rivets that have gone into the steel and this is this piece of steel is running all the way along to the back wall and supported by another steel beam at the end. So downstairs, obviously, uh, taking up a chimney breast um, upstairs means that you actually have to think about what's happening downstairs. So this chimney breast behind me is uh, one which is actually going to be going as well, but we've actually stuffed it up at the moment um, with some insulation. 
uh, because the amount of dust that's actually is falling from the top and coming down means that this area is becoming uh, very much like a steam room. I mean, you can actually, as you can see it in the air here, it's probably not very clear, it probably is very clear, but um, this was like a steam room a minute ago. So I think it's probably a good idea that they've stuffed this up so that anybody downstairs on this basement level can actually breathe. Also in this room are some rather dodgy joists, which I was speaking about um, earlier on. And uh, the historical surveyor went so far as to say that he thought that, like a bat creature had been at them. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can sort of show you these here, right up the top here. So you can kind of sort of see where things have sort of been eaten. Um, and that's kind of fine because these are very, very old. Um, and you can see a lot of them have holes in, um, there's a lot of holes in these joists. You can see where the pipes are running all the way along. Um, so it's not a particularly, um, it's not a particularly savoury thing to, to find. So the question will now be whether the clients want to pay out for some new joists um, or whether we just sort of fixed, uh, fixed the remaining ones that we have here. Um, they were obviously put up a long, long time ago. They have lasted, which is remarkable, so it's testament to uh, the strength of these actual timber pieces, but it's probably a good idea to replace them. Um, but that will come down to budget, as with everything else. Yet another chimney breast to come out uh, behind me. Um, that's something that we'll do, probably one of the last things last of all, is we're moving, literally moving down the house. So um, we've started at the top, we're making our way down, and soon this will be a nice open plan area. Um, it does, however, mean that fire regulations come into play. This is one of the other things that you sort of get used to um, as you do these kinds of jobs. The minute you start changing the fabric of a house, certainly walls, doors, openings, um, all sorts of things, then fire regulations um, come into play. So, so basically we're going to have to have what's known as a fire curtain. There are different options uh, for fire things. You can have things like misting, um, um, obviously you have to have alarms, that's by law, but you also have to have protected areas in order to get out. So if you're getting, if there was a, a fire here in the kitchen, because the courtyard garden is too small, you need to actually have another way out and it has to be protected, which is why either you have mist, which costs a fair bit, um, it's not to be, you know, it's, good, it's a few thousand, um, whereas curtains can be more in the hundreds. So hundred, I think the curtain is probably the way that we're going to go. Um, for this particular project. So the meeting went well, everything went well, the clients were happy, um, the neighbours were happy and we had a good walk around and explained everything that was going on in the house. So now I'm just going to see what the builders are doing, which effectively is they are clearing out all the rubble. Um, so you can see all the rubble here and the guys are just picking it up. This is, this is how they get their exercise. The poor builders, I do, I do put them through it. Um, but it's all good. There's lots to get rid of, as you can probably see here. Let's go and see what else is happening on the top floors. has arrived which is good to see builders at work lots of stuff going out the door which uh, basically means the skip has arrived um, and I think it's just going to stay there until they fill everything up that's generally the general consensus occasionally you do wait and load um, but you never know This is looking a whole lot better than what it was a moment ago. It's very messy and dirty out here. And here is the skip. So that concludes things for today. Um, I think I will go and grab an ice cream. I might go and grab some ice creams for the builders as well um, because it's very, very hot work here. At the moment, um, it's a good 32 degrees here in London, so they've got their work cut out for them. 
um, or rather they've got their rubble uh, cut out for them. So this is actually very much like um, a race against time. The guys have just got an hour <laughs> to fill up this skin. I think this is bizarre. Really? I thought, it, I thought you just left it here. No, this one's on a timer. And here is the driver. The driver is, the driver's waiting for this, for this to be filled up. And they're filling it up. They're doing it really well. Andre. And uh, <laughs> this is hilarious. Right. And they're bringing it up with their bare hands. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like I'm on some kind of weirdy weird kind of game show. It's, but they're doing, they're doing marvellously well. It's one of our youngest members here on the team. And this is Jack. Now Jack's been doing loads of stuff. Jack is like a god. Yeah, lots of, lots of stuff going out that door. Rubble sacks cost money, so here is, here are some we made earlier. So that's all from the house today. The skip is filling up nicely. Um, that's all we need to do for today. Um, I'm going back to my desk to do some extra work now. Um, a few more emails and a few more calls to make and I shall be back on site with the builders tomorrow.